Welcome to a penny box hunt. Let's crack into this and see if we can hunt these pennies. And well, it looks like I have a, another half and half box. Um, looks like I got a bunch of 2024s out of Philly. And then some circulated ones. So got a half a box here to hunt. So let me hunt through the ones I can hunt through and um, set the other 2024s aside and figure out what I'm going to do with those. All right, let's get into this and hopefully find some good stuff in these rolls that are circulated. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Real quick before we get started. Um, it looks like we do have 27 of these uh, uncirculated 2024s. And then uh, 23 rolls to go through. So this is going to be a 23 roll hunt there. Um, I'm going to flip through this roll just to see if anything's going on with any of these. But I'm probably not going to crack all of the 2024 rolls. I probably won't crack any, any more of them. Uh... But uh, yeah, let me get through this and then we'll get to these 23 rolls. Roll number 10, and I poured it out. I noticed um, right here, I saw some wheat air sticking out. I was like, oh, we got a wheat scent. Let's see. 1955, very nice. This one looks like it might have the uh, dye deterioration there on the date. Um, it's commonly referred to as the poor man's double dye, but it is a dye deteriorated dye that causes the five to stretch out a little bit there. Um, so that is a uh, first wheat scent find. Awesome. I'm on roll 12. I've come across another wheat scent here. This is pretty rough, but it is another wheat scent find. 1958. Final year of the wheaty is our second scent from the wheats. Roll number 15. It kind of Flumped out all crazy on me, but I noticed right here we got a wheat scent. It is worn down. Is this an older one? Let's find out what we got. Oh, 1919 S. That is an old one. 1919 San Francisco. Wow, nice. Well, I'm not seeing anything else stand out in this roll. This was crazy, so. It's even more crazy now. Let me go through this pile and see what else we got. We are on roll 19 and I've come across another wheat scent here. This is the fourth wheat scent in these rolls. Let's take a quick look at it. We have a 1956. Nice. There's another 50s wheat scent there. Just cracked open roll 20. And right here we got another wheat scent. Let's take a look. This one has some wear on it. Maybe it's older than a 50, so let's find out. Nope, it's a 1953. Nice. So we've got one, two, three, four from the 50s and a 1919 so far. Interesting. Awesome. Three rolls left. All right. So to wrap up here, I had five wheat scent finds, um, four from the 50s. 1919s, so that's pretty cool. Went ahead, and I only had like three cents set aside, and I went ahead and check, checked against the album. None of these will upgrade, and none of those upgraded, so I had no uh, no upgrades for the album. Um, all of these, that I, I do have a 1919s that is a little bit nicer than this one in the album. So that is all for this hunt, and I think I'm gonna at the end here. Uh, just depending on how long the video is, maybe I'll give you a quick overview of the albums. I haven't shown off the albums in full for a long time, so maybe we'll take a quick look and I'll show you what we got in those. And uh, if you'd like to sit through and take a nice quick look at the albums, stay tuned. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. And drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Have a great day.
I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.